Positive reinforcement plays a crucial part in getting students to behave properly in class. By praising them when they do something well, you are communicating that you expect to see more of that behavior. When students misbehave, they are punished with words of disappointment and are thus motivated to do better in the future. Some teachers also have extrinsic motivators such as candy, stars, and negative ones like demerits to get students to fall in line. That is all well and nice, but we all know that treats and kind words are only temporary. If a child wants to act out, they will. Treats become mandatory instead of a reward, causing them to act out like they are spoiled. If you do not firmly communicate the rules and boundaries and expectations of classroom behavior, students will pounce and behave poorly in class. I have very high and positive expectations of all my students. I believe that they are hardworking and capable of reaching their goals. I treat them with that expectation and also instill in them the belief that they are fundamentally good students that behave well and treat me and their classmates with respect. They want to live up to that ideal and act in a way to validate my belief in them. But before we can make someone believe in something, we've got to believe in it ourselves. We need to be friendly without becoming people pleasers and strict without turning into a rigid disciplinarian. The best classes in the world are those where there is a sense of community and camaraderie between classmates that motivate them to work together and accomplish common goals. Everyone knows what to do in those classes and actively work together to preserve peace in the class and pursue success. When this happens in a classroom, it is pure magic. A teacher can sit back and allow the students to do all the heavy lifting. This is very rare, but when it happens, teaching is truly a blessing. Question is, how can we achieve that? It's not easy, but students need to find a common purpose, understand the rules and benefit by succeeding at their studies. As teacher, you can assist this process by brainwashing your students with daily mantras like respect, consideration, group unity, inclusivity and focus. Every day, remind them what you want them to do in class and direct them in the pursuit of positive outcomes. They self-regulate and bad apples are pushed until they become compliant. This is the holy grail of teaching. You need the right class and many variables that have to go right for it to work. The biggest requirement is that the leaders in class have to be good kids to guide the majority. Unfortunately, the reality of the world is that disruptive kids often stand out because they crave attention. And even if they were confronted by good students, they would remain outcasts and interrupters to gain the validation they desire. Setting expectations can only get you that far.